Yeah. All right, so the fact is, let me ask you this. What's going on with this constant depiction of Jesus in a new way? What, what do you think is behind all of these different depictions? Well, the goal is to, to reshape, refashion, revision Christianity. What actually is going on is that we're getting a, how do I say this, we're getting a, a post-fabricated Jesus. And, and the point is that we are getting a Jesus who's not the real Jesus. He's being fabricated, and he's being fabricated according to ideological and theological concerns that reshape Christianity. The one thing you're not getting in those reshapings ever is an orthodox Christianity. You're always getting something that, that neuters or limits Jesus and makes him into another great religious figure. Also, it's distorting the facts. It distorts the facts of the scripture. Now, of course, part of the debate that's important here, part of the debate here is that people are questioning what's going on in the scripture. But once you start to do that and kind of deconstruct the Jesus of the Gospels, then you can make Jesus into anything you want. But the problem is, what's the basis for doing that? On what basis are you going to do that? Are you going to do it on the basis of a 21st century reconstruction? Are you going to go to these extra biblical gospels? What's really strange is you go to these extra biblical gospels, which scholars almost unanimously recognize don't go back to the original Jesus, and yet we're going to construct a Jesus on the basis of these texts? They have even less credibility than the gospel materials that we're working with. So why would you ever think about doing that? So there are just multiple problems with the way the material is handled. It does mean this for Christians, though. That's very, very important. It used to be that the way in which you could engage in this discussion was to know what was going on in the Bible. Now you're in a situation where you have to also know what's going on around the Bible and with the Bible because the Bible itself, to a great degree, is becoming a very major part of the question. 